Although so much concerns were raised by union leaders and other public affairs commentators, the average Nigerian worker's condition is nothing to write home about, considering these factors. Economic recession, dwindling fortunes of the country's currency, the Naira, which has minimal purchasing power. Usman Yassin is the national president of the Nigerian Union of Road Transport Workers and also the deputy national vice president of the NLC. He advises the government to look into the plight of workers and also their remuneration. The NLC headquarters are taking it all. In those states, we commended, we are in Jigawa to commend the government of Jigawa state. The advocacy for the wage increase has reached its zenith, but the argument has always been the fact that for every action, there is equal and opposite reaction, considering factors like recession, obvious inflation, and their likes. If you talk of uh, workers' remuneration, generally, I will give kudos to Adamawa state government. Nigeria's workforce marked another anniversary just weeks ago with so many unanswered questions. I want to assure you, even before the 18,000 minimum wage, there was an agreement that after 18,000 after five years, there must be a review. review. As it is, some states in the country are still battling with paying workers' salary. Some cannot even meet up the 18,000 naira minimum wage. Abdraman Abubakar, 2-6 News.